recently uh, I downloaded a 3D map plugin for the browser. Uh, the software is from Nokia. And um, it allows you to visit 20 major cities in the world. And for example, this one is uh, New York City. And uh, fly by and uh, spinning around is done by the program itself in Italy. And after it stops, then I take control and I can move my mouse to move around different areas, zoom in, zoom out, and select what I want to see. Um, if I do the click the right button and move sideways, it will uh, spin around. If I double click on the target location, it will zoom in. So this one is the World Trade Center, Ground Zero. You can see the, the site is still unbuilt. You know, the building is still not there yet. And um, I can use the the scroll wheel of the mouse to zoom in and zoom out and I can use the right button to spin around or if I move right click and move up and down will change the view angle whether look forward or look down and uh, if I click the left mouse I can uh, move forward or backward or sideways and this one is um, the Empire State Building. I can spin around and uh, in the background, far away is the Central Park of New York City. Well, usually I zoom out to look at the big picture and then I double click on the target that I want to look closer. Like this one is the Intrepid Museum, which is an aircraft carrier that turned into a museum. Uh, you can see there's a concord on the pier. And there are jet fighter on the deck of the carrier itself. If I zoom way out, I can see you know, New Jersey also on the opposite side of the river. I can see um, the United Nations headquarters there. And double click, I can zoom in. And right click and move sideways to spin around. Uh, notice the reflection on the windows, they are all wrong because this is a 3D model and it doesn't really calculate the reflection in real time. And the next thing I do is to move to another city I picked uh, Las Vegas. This is a flyby pre program by the software. And you can notice the texture on the building. They are not filled in fast enough because this is the first time I visit this. And the data is not downloaded fast enough yet. 
but if I come back and fly over again the texture will be all there so this um, delay feeling of the texture is kind of the uh, artifact because the speed is not fast enough it's because of downloading from the internet now, now I take control again and fly by have done and this is the north side of the strip and all the major casino and hotels are on the south side so the north side is kind of the old town the, all the old hotel was used to be there and uh, you can see you can see Wynn Hotel Wynn and Angkor Hotels up there, the brown one and the next one, I actually see the fashion show shopping mall on the right hand side and there's a Venetian hotel and um, I can see the fountain of the Bellagio hotel over there and Paris hotel is across the street you can see the Eiffel Tower over there and this one is uh, I think is the city center probably the newest hotel in the in, uh, in Las Vegas have a major hotel in there and uh, actually there are a couple of hotels in there and a convention center and also there are condos for sale you know people can actually spend million dollars to buy a small unit it's good for rental business too you can rent it out to other gamblers so I can see the Mandalay Bay Hotel over there Luxor Hotel Excalibur Hotel and also the New York New York Hotel that is mount and then double click on the airport so go back into zoom in well the next thing that I want to check out is um, City of London again the spinning around and uh, fly by the flight path is pre-programmed by the software but you can click the mouse and stop it anytime you want and once it's uh, stopped then uh, you are in full control you can move the mouse uh, zoom in zoom out and I think this is about the end of the video and I hope you enjoy this thank you for watching